Hi, I'm back. Lesson two. Before we get started, let's review lesson one. I had great feedback, phone calls and emails. Uh, Cameron sent, sent me this email. Uh, really helped to remind me to get your head up, you know, at address, posture, uh, so you can get your turn and your shoulder goes underneath your chin. Remember, if your chin is down, right, if your chin is down at address, your shoulder hits your chin and you move. So how can you have a good impact, a good ball strike, a good hammer, a good on-plane swing if your head is moving? So that was a great point by him. Uh, and his ultimate goal is to stop hooking the ball. We'll talk more about that. Uh, and that has a lot to do with downswing, follow through, and finish. Um, and, you know, he wanted to know that good ball position. Uh, a couple of you also called about, you know, I don't want to do that ball position drill on the course. Well, it never was meant to be on the course for every shot, but while you're practicing and you set up to the ball and you say, man, I just don't feel right. Well, if you drop your club down, look at that. The end of my club is outside my toes. So I'm too far away from the ball. Therefore, my swing plane is going to be too flat and it's going to be a big slice or a hook, okay? So it's just meant for you guys, especially uh, some of the winner guys and some of the guys who don't play too much, that's a way to always, always check distance from the ball, right, so that you feel comfortable with your best upright, butt out, back flat posture, okay? I feel good right here, boom. Club just passed, look at that. Here's the end of the grip. My toes are an inch and a half, two inches inside my utility club. So just a reminder, it's a drill to check your distance away from the ball to stop you from falling into bad habits. I mean, I've given lessons to guys here, established that ball position, and I see them a month or two later, and they started here, but their natural tendency was to be here, you know, and they, I go, golly, you've completely changed your posture. You've gotten too far away from the ball. So that ball position is meant to, for you to do on the range, for you to establish that known point right here. Okay, that's correct for me, right there. So let me kind of visually learn this feeling, this erect posture, this distance from toes to ball, okay? And not get into this bad habit, all right? Um, Tom had his question sent in. Um, Art had a great point. Art wanted me to review the whole thing from start to finish, which is why I value your feedback so much. So if you will hold the club in your the right hand is your left hand, get established right here. I got good posture, right? My left arm is an extension of the club shaft. So my ball position is known. Then I bring my weak, fishy handshake, as we've talked about and laughed about in some of the emails, to the club. And now I have established a good address position. All right? So that's lesson one review. Please keep sending in your feedback and insights. It's mower day here, so excuse the noise a little bit as I raise my voice. But I want you to keep that insight and feedback coming so I can help you, and believe me, if you send in a question, 10 or 15 or 20 others are thinking it. So if I can answer your question, it's helping a whole spectrum of people, from beginning golfers to advanced players. Be right back with lesson two.